Hello everybody and welcome back once again I'm Machine Gun and if you watched the most recent video I posted you would have seen that I unboxed these five beautiful Funko Pops from Aussie Collectibles and now I'm going to continue my unboxing because my phone just won't let me download a very long video. So the last ones we have is th those are just pop protectors um, from a gentleman on one of my Funko Facebooks. Um, the two in the back are from Pop in a Box, and the one in the front, as you can see, is Entertainment Earth. So we have uh, a handful to open up, so without further ado, we will open up the Entertainment Earth one first. Oh, here we go. Throw that up. So, like we discussed last time, they don't give their pops plenty of room, so hopefully he's not damaged. It doesn't look like the box took too much of a hit this time, but that particularly never means anything with Entertainment Earth. So, as you can see, it is Mahusen. I, I don't know. Everyone calls him Michael Jackson. Um, he does have some bowing little clip right here, but it's not very noticeable, which is good. Entertainment Earth's customer service is kind of dickish. Um, and I hate because I keep giving me damaged pops and I want my... I want a new pop, and then they're just like, yeah, okay. Um, I think there's, it looks like there's just some, doesn't feel completely, it feels like there's a bow right here. Um, but for example, my, um, the one that I got from, uh, Batman, Deus Lois, um, the Day of the Dead pop, um, it, uh, oh my god, I can't English, it's, um, it was damaged, as I saw, and then I requested uh, an exchange. And then eventually they processed it, and they told me I was just going to get my money instead. And I was like, but I wanted the new pop. And, yeah, so that's handy. And then last time, with my broken Natsu, they considered it not broken enough somehow, even though it was, like, really wrecked. And um, they refunded me $4 on a $20 order. So that was really helpful. Speaking of Natsu, we have... Not to. <laughs> so this is from the original fairy tale line. Uh, this is just common not so, not the other one. I do have a bunch of these. Uh, he does have some damage on him, but it's not very noticeable. It's just like a divot, like a small indent right here, uh, which is pretty good for Pop. But yeah, he'll have to join up with the other ones with Lucy and Happy. And last but not least, we have what is supposed to be my last Green Day pop. Oh, and my phone fell. There we go. It's supposed to be my last Green Day pop. And it is the beautiful drummer, Tree Cool. It is literally not even sitting right. As you can see just from here, it is bowed on both sides, up and down. I don't understand how this happens. The pop... Protector should flatten it out though, which is nice. There is looks like somebody stuck their fingernail in that side there. Um, it looks okay. Other than that, though, I'm getting really annoyed with all this damaged pop stuff though. So yeah, so these are the three I received for this unboxing from Entertainment Earth and both from Pop in the Box. Photos of these, as well as these ones, will be up on my Instagram at Funko Pop Collector 99 If you're just watching this video and didn't watch the last video, which is uh, Demon Slayer unboxing, uh, pop on over and check that out. You'll get to see me open these ones from Aussie Collectibles. Um, check them out as well. Feel free to check out any of the other companies. And check out my Instagram at Funko Pop Collector 99 And without further ado, have a fantastic evening.